हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजीव पोनिया इन कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट थ्री डी ऑब्जेक्ट टूडे एज एवरी वन इज प्रजेंटिंग इन थ्री डायमेंशनल इन रियल लाइफ ऑल्सो सो विदाउट द थ्री डायमेंशनल एक्सप्लेनेशन अवर study is incomplete so 3d plays a most important role when we have to concern with daily life also so in today lecture we will discuss about 3d concepts and the representations of different objects in 3d so let's start 3d concepts and object representation now here the topics we will cover are 3d display modeling first we will discuss that what are the different ways in which we can display a 3d object so what are the different methods for them second we will discuss about polygon surfaces that how the polygons look like and what's the operations we can perform on there and the representation of polygon that how we can represent polygons in different way as polygon tables plane equation and polygon mesh so these are different way in which we can represent polygon surfaces third we will discuss about plane equations then spline representations cubic spline interpolation method and in last we will discuss about bezier curve and surfaces from spline representation or bezier curve and surfaces there is always a theoretical question in the final exam so this is also important topics to pay attention so in today class we will discuss about 3d display method only so let's start 3d display method as there are different methods in which we can represent a 3d object these are parallel projection we discuss in the projection also that two type of projections parallel projections and perspective projection so to display the 3d image these are the methods that is parallel projection perspective projection depth queuing visible line and surface identification surface rendering exploded and cut away view that how we can represent by cutting a surface to see its internal part and then we will discuss about three dimensional stereoscopic view that is used in real life with the human being without performing any operation so let's start from the parallel projection first in parallel projection it generates view from solid object by projecting parallel lines onto the display plane as i told you that in projection we have to represent a 3d object on two dimensional that is image should be two dimensional and this is the way because we cannot represent a 3d object in the 
display unit. So first of all, we have to convert that object from 3D to 2D. So this is a method that generate view that is 2D image from solid object that is 3D object by projecting parallel lines onto the display plane. Wherever we want to see the image, all the projected lines will be parallel to that. Those are look like coming from the object. So by changing viewing position, we can get different view of 3D object onto 2D play screen. And this technique is used mostly in engineering and architectural drawing. For an example, this is a orthographic projection. You can see over here, this is a object. This is a 3D object as this is the length. This is the length of this. This is the breadth of this. And this is the height of this object. So when we want to see this object from three different directions, that is from the front, from the side and from the top. As I told you that in parallel projections, all the lines are perpendicular to viewing plane and parallel to each other. So you can see from here that when we are discussing about the top view, then this line, this line, this line and all our projected lines are parallel to each other. And this is the viewing plane. This is the viewing plane. All the lines, all the projected lines are parallel to, sorry, are perpendicular to the plane. And the image, the top image, we get this is the top image we get from the top means whatever we are able to see over here from the top that is the top image in the parallel projection so this is the top view when we want to see the object image from the front view then we will see this front view and you can see over here that all the lines are perpendicular to the viewing plane and parallel to each other so the final image of the object in two dimensional is this one as we see from the left hand sorry from the front of the object in the same way when we are seeing this object from the side then all the rays are parallel to each other and perpendicular with view plane perpendicular with, with view plane this and the image that is going to form on the view plane, that is this image. That is this image. You can see the image that we are going to look from the side. So we are able to see only this part of the object. So this happened in case when we have parallel projection. Second one in this is perspective projections. In this pro perspective projection, it looks like the original image, whatever we are seeing in our daily life. Suppose I want to see a tree 
then how the tree is look like when the tree is nearer to me then how will be the image of that tree if the tree is very far away from me then how it will be look like <clears throat> from this example you can try to understand that this is the center of projection means this is a i from where one want to see the object and this is the object as all the rays are coming from this point these rays are not parallel to each other these rays are not parallel to each other i told you that image of the object can be in this side and in right side also when the image of the object is in the front side then it will be smaller than the object and when the image of the object will be in right hand side then it will be greater than the object so this method generating view of 3d object by projecting point on the display plane along converging path so these are the converging path that seems to come from a single source this will display object smaller when it is away from the view plane and of nearly same size when closer to the view plane it will produce more realistic view as it is the way our eyes is forming the image of an object in daily life so this was the basic concept behind perspective projection so this is the third type second type perspective projection now we will see the third type that is depth viewing in depth viewing we have to represent a image of an object in such a way so that the image those are very nearer to us they look like or the representation of that image is very clear to us as you can see from here then these two objects are displaying very clearly to us and when we will go further away from the viewer then the object is going to be became dull with respect to the object those are closer to the viewer and there are some other object also those are really very very far away so these are looking like that there is the shadow only this is the, the analogy like a object you are seeing in the winter in a fog so in fog the objects those are very nearer to us we can we are able to see them clearly but the objects those are far away those are not see clear so this is the concept of depth queuing so many times depth information is really very important this is a simple method to do this depth queuing of which assign higher intensity of the closer object and lower intensity of the far object and the color depends on the intensity of the object so over here the object's image is nearer to the 
observer so intensity of these images are more than the images those are far away so this is the region that they are looking great or the images are looks like the original view third this is the third one that is depth queuing now in the fourth in the fourth this is visible line and surface identification in in this we have to check the surface of the object that which one is looked and which one is hide from the user suppose this is a queue this is a object a user can see this face of this object this face of this object and this that is front one of front one image of this object but if you will see then in the last to represent this as i use dotted line i use dotted line these dotted line represents that this is the back view of this object in this method we first identify visible lines or surface by some method then display visible lines with highlighting or with some different colors so that we can make it difference that this is the visible part or and this is the hidden part other way is to display hidden lines with dashed line or simply not display hidden lines as i explained you and this technique is used in hidden surface removal techniques we discuss hidden removal surface technique also so this was about the basic concept behind this now surface rendering surface rendering means the surface that is very nearer to us that is looking very bright or the intensity of that surface is more more than the other part this is the realistic image to produced by setting surface intensity according to light reflect from that surface and the characteristics of the object it will look like that we are projecting a light on the surface and the surface that is nearer that reflects more comparatively to other part it will give more intensity to the shiny surface and less to dull surface is the surface we are seeing over here this is the nearest point and the other point or other part of the surface that is not reflecting that is the that is the part that is away from the viewer it also applies high intensity where light is more and less where light is less this is one more example when we project the light on this object so this is the part we are able to see with very shining so this is very nearest to it, us so this was about the surface rendering now exploded and cut away view as i told you in starting that sometimes what happens when we have to display some image then have to explain the internal architecture or internal procedure for 
the volatile of that object like when we have to show the internal part of a gas chamber that how it will work or we have to show the customer that the piston in this machine is looks like this and this is the way that the piston works as you can see this example that in this object it is showing that this is the piston of the machine and this is the chamber in which the piston is going to use above and below to produce the power to run the electric to run the this uh, by bike motor or vehicle so this was about the engine theory and we can apply this in many many more or almost everywhere that is exploded and cut away view so last one is 3d dimensional stereoscopic view this is the real view that a human look as a human want to look an object that the complete procedure is little bit different that first of all the image of the object is formed by as we are looking from one eye either from the left or from the right and in second case our second eye see the image of that particular object that how it is look like and then a control from the mind merge these two images of that object and it will so look like so this happens in case of three dimensional stereo scopic view so you can see over here that this is a viewer that want to see the object and this is the image of that this is a signal timing that and control signal that is used to send the signals or cathode cathode ray tubes to display unit to display output unit so in this we discuss about the three dimensional displaying object that what are the different ways to perform that operation in the next class we will discuss about the polygons thank you thanks a lot